I get asked all the time, when will I be discarded by a narcissist? If you don't know me, my name is Sam and I'm considered a subject matter expert on narcissistic personality disorder. And I use that information to coach people through and out of narcissistic abuse. So here are some of the most common times when a narcissist will discard somebody that they're in a relationship with. Not all, but these are the most common. Pregnancy. A lot of narcissists will discard somebody when they get them pregnant. Diagnosis of an illness. That'll get you discarded. Generally a long-term sickness diagnosis. If somebody that you love dies and you need emotional support, a lot of times a narcissist will discard you for that. If you lose your job, if your appearance <coughs> changes, like you gain weight, a special occasion or a holiday, if they feel like they're getting ready to be exposed, they've secured new supply, and when their effort to control you is no longer working. It's real important to keep in mind that a discard is not permanent. Nine times out of ten, the narcissist is coming back. It's real important to keep a journal and write down all the facts, everything that they did, and use that journal to remind yourself of why you are not going to let them back. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. I am self-aware, diagnosed narcissist Lee Hammock, better known as mental illness across social media. I use my platform to raise awareness for, for a narcissistic personality disorder and also, in the process, validate the victims and survivors of said disorder. This series right here, A Narcissist Explains, you know, is dedicated to taking my TikToks and YouTube shorts and just making them longer. The one you just watched was by a you know another TikToker. Her name is uh, her name is Sam. She goes by her uh, her username is at What Does It Matter? Um, yeah, just like it sounds. What does it matter? And she's one of the you know most prominent um, TikTokers on narcissist TikTok. You know, she probably won't do you know to me. She's probably one of the top top ones. You know, top knowledgeable ones. Um, I learned a lot from her. But as you can see, she just gave you a list of reasons why a narcissist will discard you, and those are just you know. I, when I was watching it, those are like spot on because, you know, a narcissist doesn't really need a big, a good reason to discard you. But those reasons that she gave right there, like the getting pregnant one. Yes. A narcissist will literally discard you, discard you for getting pregnant by them with their baby. And I know sometimes it doesn't make sense. But when you get pregnant, the narcissist feels like they have you trapped, like you're trapped in there. You can't go anywhere with them. They feel like they have you done and then you're you're trapped. And they can, like, when you get pregnant, they feel like you're stuck there, pregnant. You can't do anything else. You can't find love. You can't replace them. And this is in the narcissist's mind. I know that all this stuff is, you know, here, no, neither here nor there. But in the narcissist's mind, they think you are trapped. They think you, they are, they, well, they really do have to, they have to be part of your life for the rest. They have to be part of your life forever. And they, they can go secure a new supply while not being challenged for you. Because, you know, when women get pregnant, uh, the hormones kick in and things like that. And then they feel like they have you. So when you, if you get pregnant, they will discard you. I'm not saying they, everybody's going to discard you when you get pregnant, but they will discard you because they feel like they have you trapped. And also they feel like, um, you know, they, they got you. <laughs> they have you trapped. And then they feel like you can't go anywhere. And then like no competition there. So and another thing she went over is when uh, you get sick. Like if you get a chronic illness or a terminal illness or something that, takes away from the attention of the narcissist, something that they have to put a lot of time, effort, energy into, like taking care of you and not focusing on them, where the attention is on you and not on the narcissist, they'll get, they'll discard you. That's like one of the, and that's one of the most vile discards that, um, when I talk to people, that's one of the most vile discards that I talk about when, um, that people talk about, like I got diagnosed with this and I got discarded, you know, one of my, you know, good, one of my first people I did a one-on-one -on -one with, she had like terminal breast cancer. Her name is uh, April. Um, if you click the link in my bio, she has a uh, GoFundMe up there for, uh, for her bucket list. She got terminal cancer and her narcissistic husband discarded her for somebody else when she got diagnosed with terminal breast cancer. And they have a, a, like a three-year-old daughter. Evil. People are evil. They will discard you because you get sick and they have to take care of you. Literally. And I know that's like I said. So if somebody in your family dies the narcissist will discard you because you need emotional attention, affection, and all the other stuff. And a narcissist, we just can't probably, in narcissist mind, like narcissists have limited emotional capacity. So you need more than they can give. You need more than we can give. And we discard you like, I'd rather just go be by myself and let you handle this on your own. Are you still crying? Uh, why, why are you still crying? Like, and they, they, they were 99 years old. Like, what are you crying for? Like, they, it's, it's part of life. Like, what? Get over, it's part of you to get over it, you know? They'll either tell you to get over it or be very, very mean and vi like vicious with it, telling you to get over it and, and torture you. You know what I mean? And narcissists will discard you. And the crazy thing about it is narcissists don't need a reason to discard you. They will literally just discard you just for the sake of discarding you. I say you have to protect yourself. When you give your all into these narcissist relationships, when you 
you know, you want to trust people you to marry. You want to trust people that you live with. You want to trust people that you care about and things like that. You give your all to a narcissist, they will use it against you. Like literally, they will use that. They will use all. They will take everything from you, drain you dry, suck you dry of all your resources, your money, your time, your youth, you mean your energy, your affection, your caring, and give it to somebody else. They will drain you dry and give it to somebody else. But they, because while they were draining you dry, you weren't doing anything else to supplant to, to supplement it. Like you were giving them everything that you were, and you were not supplementing yourself with anything. You know what I mean? You were literally giving them all your time, all your energy, all your effort, all your love, care, and affection, all yourself. You lost yourself. You know what I mean? And you gave it to them, and they felt like they had used you up, so they go replace you. Another reason that she went over in the, in the video is if a narcissist finds the, somebody that will fit them better, they'll they'll discard you. And they'll discard you and keep you on the hook. Just in case the new person doesn't work out, eh, you got a new supply. Hey, it might not work out, so can I, me and you, can we, man, we, we, had, we had a little, we, me and you did that thing. You know what I mean? And keep you hooked. Because they'll, they'll discard you like viciously. So vicious that you start asking questions about yourself. Was I enough? What's wrong with me? Why 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 is my ex giving them everything that they promised to give me? Like well, why was I not good enough to give that to? And then you'll reach out to them for that closure. You and you won't get it. And you get sucked back into a now you're the side person. You I mean they'll discard you for new supply, a better fit. Somebody that gets them. You know what I mean? Because it's new and exciting. Like a new shiny toy, literally. Like literally like a new shiny toy. Like, ooh, I'm gonna play with this. It might not be better, but it's new. It's in a package. I ain't never had it before. Let me go ahead and play with this one. You know? And another another one of the biggest reasons that uh that Sam at what doesn't matter on TikTok, follow her. Um the another thing that she went over in that video also was if you to get discarded, it's like you have any kind of physical changes. Like if you gain weight, if you get overweight, if you, you know, um, lose or you gain weight you gain too much weight you lose too much weight you lose some teeth you know what I mean? you get you just get older you know nature takes its course you know what I mean? you become less attracted to the narcissist uh, anything any kind of big physical changes will get you discarded you're not the same you know and they'll tell you like you're not the same person i met they'll tell you use that against you abuse that against you and just manipulate you and, and make you feel terrible about it too and make you feel like you're constantly not enough because in a narcissist's mind, they just want to make it's constant, just constant. They need to, like we need to put you down to feel better about ourselves, and that's always the goal right there to feel better about ourselves overall by putting somebody else down to take that energy from you and give it to us. But that's how you have to go about things right there to protect yourself. So be careful with giving. I mean, I'm not telling you to stop dating, but be careful with giving your all to somebody else that doesn't deserve it. Watch for the red flags. Watch for the signals. Watch for the cues. Protect yourself. Live a long, luxurious, beautiful life and take care. Okay. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all for subscribing to the channel. I really, truly appreciate every single one of y'all because guess what? As much as y'all learn from me, I learn more from you. Like and subscribe for more. Mental Illness is out. Peace.